So let me ask you, are you going around in circles? Do you often feel like your day is a bit like Groundhog Day? You're just watching everybody else's life go by. And it doesn't matter what you try, you're still getting the same results day in and day out. You haven't been able to move that needle and you often feel overwhelmed, disillusioned, unfulfilled and well and truly stuck. In your heart you absolutely know that you are missing something but you're not quite sure what that is. So we're going to take a look at now what that is and what you can do about it to get out of your own way. Would you like to quickly be able to put your finger on the pulse and know exactly what is getting in your way? I hope so, because otherwise there's no point in being on this masterclass. Would you like to know exactly what to do to get into momentum and make the biggest impact and repeatedly move yourself forward, rapidly move yourself forward? Would you like to get out of your own way, live a more connected, fulfilled, and in impactful life, doing exactly what it is that you love, even during these t crazy times of the pandemic? If that's the case, you are absolutely in the right place. The reason why I have brought this masterclass together is because I see way too many women pedaling painfully fast, but they're not where they want to be. They spend an awful lot of time getting in their own way. Now, this can show up, show up in lots of different ways, but one thing is absolutely for sure, and that is it doesn't matter what they invest their time, money, and energy in nothing is going to change until they start to look inwards and take a closer look at what's really stopping them from moving forward now obviously the good news is is that i'm going to share with you exactly how to get out of your own way and play a much bigger game because we only have a limited amount of time, I'm going to quickly walk you through a new unique process it is that I have created. I'll also share how you can take this further with me. But what I want to do is I want to take you through the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox so you can see the process and how it fits together. Now, I absolutely love being self-employed and having the freedom to run a business because the truth is, especially crazy times like now, I have the freedom to work with the clients that I want to work with. I have the freedom to manage my own time and make a decision as to what it is that I want to be focused in on. But business wasn't always as easy as it is now. It was a lot, lot tougher. I was stuck in the past. I found it almost impossible to get out of my own way. And I ended up in this circle, in this loop, year on year on year, not able to, not being able to figure out why the hell was it I was just so stuck. What? It's not that I'm stupid. It's not that I'm not intelligent. It isn't that I haven't tried it. 101 things. But what I didn't realize was that my thoughts were creating my reality. I thought my thoughts were fixed and I didn't realize they had as much power as they did. Oh, my cat's up to having a bit of a wonder around in this apartment. He's not, not used to being in here. So I thought things were fixed. I didn't know that there was, in fact, a very different way that I could do things. I didn't realize, ooh, fang, oi, get off the light. I didn't realize um, there was another choice. There was another way that I could, ooh, oi, come on, you're going to break. You're going to break it otherwise. Come on, baby. I didn't realize there was another way of doing things, that I had a choice and that my thoughts were creating my reality. 
you know, even though you hear things like that, I really didn't understand that that was the case. And, you know, I'm 50, coming up 51. It's taken me that long to wake up and realize that my thoughts create my reality, which is great news because it means that I can create a new, not world, I can create a new way to play. I can create a new way to do things. I can open the door to new possibilities and opportunities, which weren't otherwise previously available to me, which is awesome. So I was stuck in my limited thinking. I actually call it stinking thinking. And that was completely sabotaging my business success. So basically how it showed up for me in terms of sabotaging my success, this was one of the ways, was that my business stayed at exactly the same level of income for eight years. Until I hit breaking point, I ended up with depression and severe anxiety. And it wasn't until I started working with a mindset coach, these are all separate people, a mindset coach, a money coach, and a psychiatrist, did I really start to understand that I was the problem. And when you start to understand that you're the problem, first of all, it's a bit of denial, shock, oh my God. But then it's also on the other side of that. It's completely liberating because if, when you realize you have the power to change things, you have the power to change things. That's, then you can, it gives you limitless possibilities. It gives you more opportunities than you've ever had before. And as I said, it took me to, it took me to 50 to realize that actually I was the problem. <laughs> don't tell anyone <laughs> so i'll give you a little context yet to set the scene hence the reason why my mindset was as stinky as it was so i was taken into care at around one and a half the first home i went into i was drugged locked in a cupboard for long periods of time so i was a very young addict addicted to I can't even remember what it was, actually. It might pop back into my head later. Um, drugged, neglected, locked in a cupboard for hours at a time. So I, that home was closed down. I was then moved from children's home to children's home, from foster placement to foster placement, abused, adopted, left care at 15 and a half, beaten, raped more than once. Now... I'm not saying this to shock you. What I'm, why I'm saying this is because of the, all of those layers of experiences had shaped my thinking. And this is why I didn't understand that I was the one that was getting in my own way. And it was that my, the reality I created for myself based on those past experiences wasn't going to help me to move forward or, or achieve or impact other people's lives the way that I wanted to. Compound that with an extensive amount of workplace bullying and discrimination. Eventually what happened was I decided 10 years ago that enough was enough, so I became self-employed. So as I said, I'm not telling you that story to shock you because that story is actually very similar, very common to other people that have been institutionalized into the care system over long periods of time. So if you meet someone who has been in care for a long period of time, in and out of care, I would say always treat them with love and compassion because there'll be a huge freaking story and we've all got stories but there will be one that is very traumatic that runs in their background so layer on layer and layer of negative experience so due to all that trauma what happened was i lost my voice i had very little confidence my self-esteem was in the gutter I didn't want to speak to people. I had a real attitude, a real chip on my shoulder. I was basically frightened all of the time. So I built a brick wall around myself so no one could get close. And of course, you cannot run a business 
that way because what happens is well you know for eight years I ran my business at a loss um, and that was because of some of this trauma that was playing out in the business because the business is me the consequence of all of this trauma played out in my business hence the reason why I got so stuck I'm very pleased to say that I'm a very different person today than I was just a couple of years ago. And that's really because I have worked incredibly hard at not just clearing negative beliefs and a great deal of trauma, but I have pretty much created a new personality. It's, it's almost as if, yes, of course, she's still part of me. All of that trauma is still part of me. I can't. It's what's made my character. It's what's empowered me to be able to teach people to learn resilience, especially crazy times like this. So, you know, I don't want to, <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to get rid of it. I'd like to get rid of it <laughs> for it to have not happened. However, <laughs> I'm a very different person today than I was before I woke up. So why should you trust me? I believe that your success and emotional well-being is not about long, drawn-out strategies. So I'm going to share the exact steps I've used for myself and my clients to take them out of their own way fast and live a more fulfilling life doing what they absolutely love. I'm not just a personal performance coach. I'm also a money breakthrough coach professional speaker and soon to be author of a book called Be More Wolf, Empowering Women to Thrive Regardless of Circumstances. And that book is born out of the co conscious coaching reflective, the conscious coaching reflective toolbox. So I specialize in helping women to thrive regardless of circumstances. My clients know that I'm always there for them. I always have their back. And they work with me time and time again. I've helped thousands of women from all over the world. I'm a qualified coach. I've been working in the transformational space for over 30 years. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I keep showing my age. As I really love to work with ambitious, smart, highly motivated women who are a little bit woo-woo and getting in their own way. They're often playing it safe, working incredibly hard, but not making the impact, income, or progress they truly desire. Yes, and if you ask me to work with you to co-create a more fulfilling life, I've done it time and time again. I've used these personal performance growth strategies to empower women all over the world. I've also been featured quite extensively online, in newspapers, in magazines, on in people, well, podcasts, articles. So if what you're doing feels heavy, a drag, it sucks the life force out of you in any way. You're feeling a level of disconnect. You know, you're stuck in that groundhog day. And you're not quite sure what direction to move in next. It's almost like whatever you try, nothing's happening. Whatever you invest in, nothing is happening. So what I say is, is it's time to absolutely change the record. But hang on. One thing I'm not saying is I do not mean go out and buy yet another course on marketing, another course on sales, or even get stuck into another project. The truth is this is often just a way of sophisticatedly hiding and is keeping you busy rather than you finding out what is sitting underneath that, what is driving that behavior and stopping you from achieving what it is that you want to achieve. I wrote something the other day about how easy it is to slip back into what is familiar. It is so easy. I did it last week. I was writing, doing a video, and the video is to support the book, Be More Wolf. And I ended up doing a video about lead magnets for business. I'm being funny, but lead magnets for business has absolutely nothing to do with what it is that I am creating. 
the Be More Wolf book. And what I'd done was I'd sophisticatedly, my ego had come in and it had just put me in a direction that means that I'm not going to get, get anywhere near the results that is that I want. But what it's done is, is it's put me back into a place of what is comfort, comfortable, what is familiar. Lead magnets I would talk about eight years ago, not now. <laughs> done and dusted. So what you've been doing up until this point is likely not to have been working. So it's time to come up whatever's happening to you from a different angle. What often happens is, for some bizarre reason, rather than us stopping, standing still, and making a conscious decision to take a look deeper at what is going on in terms of what's getting in our way, what's really getting in our way, is that we tend to speed up, look for other things to do, justify in our minds that it's if we just try harder, if we try this, if we tried that. And what happens is we start to speed up. We start to push to the side. We start to bury. We start to focus in on the wrong things. Again, this is a way of sabotaging your success. I remember clearly pushing myself harder and harder to try and figure out why I felt so stuck. All that did was it kept me stuck. One of the things I used to say to myself was, why am I not getting this? Why am I not getting this? And all that did was keep me as a victim. I don't say that anymore now. It's, it's been scrubbed out of my vocabulary. If I catch myself saying it, I stop myself instantly. I'm going to talk about pattern interrupters in a little bit later on. I stop myself because it's not going to help me. It just keeps me as a victim, not being able to make a decision and not being able to move forward. But some of this is a case of what you don't know, you don't know and you can't deal with. And at that point, until I woke up and realized what it was about, I was stuck in that loop. That was the self-sabotage. And of course, when I failed, what I would do is I would emotionally beat myself up. I would be really hard on myself. And I would talk to myself nastily, bad, bad, <laughs> very, very, very harshly. Beat myself up. But then what that did was that kept me in a, a loop of negative thinking, which well, you know how this goes. It keeps you as a business. It keeps you as a prisoner in past experiences. And it takes you nowhere near where you want to be. So I was absolutely unable, paralyzed to be able to get out of my own way because I was always focused in on the wrong things. The other thing I have learned about myself, and it's, it's a biggie, is that I sophisticatedly hide myself behind other women so i would do things like interview women i would business owners i would set up massive online events which are, are really a team effort so i would sophisticatedly be hiding behind those other people but also i would be keeping myself really really busy so i couldn't pay attention to what else was underneath that which is quite quite interesting when I chase that back, when I started to take a closer look at it, I realized that I didn't want to be visible because being visible meant trauma. It meant abuse. So the subconscious patterns that were running underneath were really about if you be visible, that means that you're going to be in danger. Hence the reason why I was sophisticatedly hiding. However, I know that isn't real in the world in the here and now so i've been able to change those beliefs and move past them so focusing on the wrong things very little if anything is going to change until you start developing the skills to help you to get out of your own way intentionally resilience can absolutely be taught getting out of your own way can absolutely be taught 
So here's what I figured out. I figured out that there is a quick and painless way to figure out exactly what is getting in your way. I'm so proud of this. When I, when I realize what it is that I have created and achieved, I feel incredibly, I feel incredibly proud of myself. And it doesn't matter where you're starting from or what the issues are. You can, what you can do is you can finally sort out once and for all. You can put your finger on what has been getting in your own, own way. You can then start to get into momentum, start taking inspired action, and you can start to supercharge your results. You will see a significant difference in your level of happiness, fulfillment, connection, employment, whether you have your own business, you start to start, things start to shift and you start to see and experience things very differently because you're clearing out ways of thinking that no longer serve you anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to whiz through this amazing self-discovery journey. I take my clients through called the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox so you can get an understanding of the different layers I take people through. So these are time-proven and tested steps. I pretty much use these every day, but I, you know, I'm fine-tuned. So I go. I've adapted my super speedy way of doing things, but this is what I take my clients through to help them supercharge their results, to get out of their own way, to be able to progress, whether that is business, professional, personal, it all has a knock on effect. Okay. Just going backwards. Okay. So there are, there are four steps. The Conscious Coaching Roadmap to Success is the first one. The second one is the Conscious Coaching Reflective Practice. The third step is Conscious Self Coaching. And the fourth is about bringing in pattern interrupters. So I'm going to go through these a bit more, but the roadmap to success, obviously, we need to have a direction that we are heading in. Then, so that is conscious. Initially, the work that you are doing, that piece of work is in the conscious. It's in the here and now. It's what you know about here, here and now. The second part, the reflective practice is going to start to pull out what's happening unconsciously because you're going to bring your attention to what it is that you are up to. Once you know what it is that you are up to and what is sabotaging your success, what is getting in the way from the reflective practice, you can then start to address one thing a week and start to actually put an end to the self-sabotage it is that has been playing out. So in the third step, you go a lot deeper to clear out that one specific thing. It is that you have been challenged by, struggling with, not aware of, something that's getting in your way, something that is emotional, possibly traumatic, what we do is we connect the dots for you to be able to acknowledge, release, let go, and create a new way to move forward. Pattern interrupters are incredibly, incredibly important because I'm not, what I'm not saying here is that you become aware of something that's sabotaging your success, and then it instantly stops. This isn't, it's not what happens. That's that's not real. I think probably an NLP, it may work like that, but this isn't NLP. I'm assuming NLP works that way. I've never done NLP. The pattern interrupters are to help you to snap you out of negative self-thinking, negative self-thought, because once you've acknowledged it and you've been able to release it, 
and see it for what it really is and to create another way of being something else that you want to step into the pattern interrupters act as a way to turn your thoughts off they act as a way to stop some of the stinking thinking that is playing out they seem a bit ridiculous but they work incredibly well my psychiatrist taught me these strategies they well one of them they are exceptional so even if you don't believe in the process you'll hear a lot of people say this trust in the process because i didn't believe that and i trusted in him and i trusted in the process and three months later i was back on my feet Okay, so the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox starts with the unique roadmap to su success. So it's about empowering you to get out of your own way, consciously create a new path to success, leading to a happier, more fulfilling life. Now, what often happens here, where I see people making a mistake here, is that they just get focused in on what it is that they want. They don't spend time acknowledging what it is that they don't want. You need to, when you're working with me this way, you need to acknowledge what isn't working, what's not so good, what's good and what's bad, what's the direction you want to head in, and actually, where do you get stuck? What are the tripwires that are going to sabotage your success so you can easily navigate back over sideways to heading in the direction it is that you want to head in? So you want to recognize the good and the bad, not just the good. Like anything in life, you need to have a clear direction that you are heading in. And over time, what happens is you start to bring more of the unconscious into the conscious. So you can start to create a completely different direction. You can start to get very different results. You are no longer stuck in groundhog day you know how to navigate those tripwires and get out of them really quickly so you can stop sabotaging your success this is absolutely a working process it is not a piece of work that you do with and shove it in a door and go you know shove it in a drawer or put it on your wall it's you when you are running patterns of behavior and they are so ingrained it can take a while for you to even realize that you're running it and that you're in it. And then you'll suddenly get, you'll peek out and you'll go, oh, oh my God, I'm, you know, I call it the vortex, the loop. When you get stuck, when you've gone over a trip wire and you get stuck, I call it the vortex, the loop. Um, you'll, you'll put your head up and you'll go, oh my God, I'm in the vortex, I'm in the loop. Okay, I've got to get back across to the other side. So I take people sideways rather than going up because going up out of the vortex is really hard work and going further into the vortex means you are becoming emotionally overwhelmed, which is what we don't want. Then we start to look at or you introduce as a daily practice the conscious coaching reflective practice and this is one of the most simplest things that you can do one of the most easiest things you can do but my god is it powerful it is incredibly powerful you cannot change what it is that you're not aware of you might think that you're aware of something that's getting in your way but are you really if you haven't really dug deep enough then what the reflective practice will do is it will pull out what it is that you need to focus in on first that is sabotaging your success. So it gives you a point of direction to work from, but it also shows you at the same time what needs to be dealt with first, what needs to be dealt with after that until you start fine tuning it. So you might think that you have the skills to be able to get out of your own way, but you may not be implementing them or you may have developed the skills and an understanding to be able to navigate the complexity of what's playing out. So you may have the skills but not be using them or you may not know 
like me, that actually there is a, a different way to navigate what's happening in your world and how you show up. My intuition would tell me that if you're on this call, if you've signed up, that is, it's likely that something is still playing out and getting in your own way. Okay, so the reflective practice breaks down into five key areas. Whether you are in flow, and we do this daily because this starts to then show us what is coming up. So we have got inflow. So what do you enjoy doing? What creates great energy? What makes you happy? Out of flow, of course. What drains your energy? What do you hate doing? What makes you unhappy? So these are just some of the questions. There are other questions that you can ask yourself as well, but it's really just to pull your mind and attention to what is happening during the day. So this is small things. It's not big things. This We do this daily because it helps us pull out the small things and not the big things. What can you do to get out of your own way? So what negative self-talk do you have playing out? What has to change that you haven't dealt with yet? What are you doing that you should not be doing? Now, what we want here is for you to note these different things down, but what you absolutely shouldn't be doing is starting, unless it's something you can do very quickly without thinking about it, this isn't for you to start fixing whatever it is that you're saying to get out of your own way. Again, what we're doing is we're just freeing up the mind to acknowledge what is happening throughout the day. Best foot forward, what can you do today to put your best foot forward? How can you meet yourself halfway? What do you need to let go of? Again, remember what I just said about we're not looking to fix things here. What we're looking for are patterns of behavior, and we will do that at the end of the week, because otherwise what's going to happen again is you're going to go off chasing and trying to fix possibly the wrong thing. And acknowledge whatever you achieve throughout the day, the success, no matter how small. This is incredibly powerful. So for me, it's not about gratitude it is about acknowledging what it is that you have achieved what it is that you have been doing throughout the day it doesn't matter how small i love cake i will put down in on my knowledge section had cake love cake you know something that i has also got me into flow but what we do at the end of the week is we go back through and then have a look at okay what, where are the patterns? Which one is coming out the most? So get out of your way. You could have the same thing that's coming up repeatedly. And this is what will happen. Things will come up repeatedly. And then you just want to see which one's coming up the most. And you want to address the one that is coming up the most because that's what needs to be dealt with first. So we're going to put, you put things in a bit of a, you put things in a hierarchy to deal with them first the decision is made for you you don't make a choice about it you just go okay that's the one that's that it is that i'm spending the most energy that's the one that's coming up the most that's the one it is that i'm going to get focused in so what we do then is we go through a conscious self-coaching ritual and this is about going deep it's an opportunity to self-coach to nurture to guide and to navigate your way through the challenges it is that you are facing with less stress overwhelm and for you to find the best foot forward the best way to move forward for you so this is really i guess where the real work is done and what i do is i take you through a self-coaching process i have personally designed and what it will do is it will enable you to connect the dots without going down an emotional rabbit hole really important what we don't want you to do is to disappear down an emotional rabbit hole 
what I say to everybody is that, you know, if you're feeling overly anxious, if you're feeling really stressed, if you're not feeling 100% yourself, then you absolutely must reach out and go and get professional advice. Absolutely. But what I don't want you to do is to go down the rabbit hole. What we're doing is we are just quickly, very quickly looking at what some of the experiences and triggers have been to be able to connect the dots so you can release and acknowledge, release and let go. Because those experiences have been in the past and what we don't want is them to overly shape your future, which is where I was absolutely stuck. So the self-coaching ritual, again, is very powerful. And this is where you would take a little bit more time out to look at that one issue, to help you understand it, help, help you understand how you're sabotaging your success, why that is. Um, going off the word sabotage on your success here, as I as I'm saying it, it's a bit it's a bit harsh, I think, because you you are shaped by your experiences, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. If anything, you need to be compassion, be kind, show love to yourself. Need to find a different word. Okay, yeah. So acknowledge, release, and move on. Now, what will happen is, is your, your head, your head, your ego, your inner drama, your negative self-talk is going to want to come up and slap you in the, face, in the face like a wet fish. It's going to do everything to try and keep you safe. So what we do is once we have identified what's going on, you have self-coached and journaled around that. We then look at creating pattern interrupters that help you organize your thoughts and they help you manage some of the negativity that is playing out in your head. So it doesn't interfere too much with the ongoing personal and professional, your ongoing personal and professional development. The truth is we often spend more time than we realize winding ourselves up. We just don't realize that we're doing it. We can be in such a bad habit of doing it, we don't even know we're doing it. <laughs> when you start to become more conscious, your brain will naturally want to keep you safe. So pattern interrupters work really well for helping you to stop some of that negative self-talk. Well, they help me. Now I'm consciously aware of how what triggers me emotionally, I can actually stop that negative self-talk pretty much straight, straight away. What I will find every now and again is I will slip back into the vortex, into the loop, because that is a place that is comfortable. But once I recognize that I'm doing that, and I can do that from carrying out the ritual, not the ritual, the pattern it is at the end of the week I can start to see very quickly what's going on so rather than it taking me a month or a year to realize I can do it in a week which is incredible if you want the success you desire and a more fulfilling life then you have to be able to take responsibility for managing your thoughts here's the thing about thoughts which I didn't realize is that you can absolutely make a decision to stop what it is that you are thinking. You can train your brain in a way to stop the way that you are thinking, the way that you are talking to yourself so negatively that it's just impacting on your relationships, your work, your job. You can navigate that negative self-talk. It's only taken me 50 years. But hey how I got there. I got there in the end. <laughs> okay, so there are four steps that we go through in the conscious coaching reflective toolbox. That is your roadmap, the good and the bad, the direction you're heading in, working process, absolutely. The reflective practice, which is about watching 
what you are doing every day to start to pull out the patterns of behavior that aren't serving you. Incredibly powerful. Very proud of that I am. The self-coaching ritual I'm also very proud of as well, which is about going deeper and looking at those issues, those limiting beliefs, whatever is playing out for you. As I said, it's regardless of issue. It doesn't matter what it is because this is about you self-coaching yourself within a structure, within a, within a frame, safe framework. So less stress and you'll find better solutions for moving yourself forward once you understand and can connect the dots. The pattern interrupters, as I said, are to help you manage your thoughts, help to give you a break, <laughs> I think is the best way to, to say it, when you're driving yourself a little bit crazy because the uh, thoughts are just a little bit overwhelming. I think I'm about to have a cat bite out here. So what I've done is the conscious, conscious coaching reflective toolbox has the steps that you go through. The methodology, don't really like the word methodology, but we all understand the word methodology, is a combination of conscious coaching, self-coaching, resilience building, and inspired action combined with one-to-one -one support and accountability. So the conscious coaching element is about achieving a higher level of self-awareness. It is about becoming more tuned in with your thoughts and your beliefs and your behavior. So you're doing things much more consciously. I, you're more awake around why you're making the decisions it is that you're making, what's influencing you to make those decisions, what's really holding you back. The self-coaching is to help you to navigate emotional triggers, increase your well-being and mental health, but to coach yourself through the blocks it is that you are experiencing. And I have a particular way that I do that, which I'm not going to go into now because it is a bit it's a bit complicated. <laughs> it makes sense when you when you do the practice. Resilience building is about building that resilience muscle. It is about thriving regardless of circumstances, and that is born out of being more conscious. It's born out of understanding and self-coaching yourself and navigating your way through what has been sabotaging your success. So building resilience is really about helping you to thrive regardless of the circumstances. And inspired action can only happen once you are consciously aware of what's influencing your decisions, how you are going to navigate and want to move towards a different outcome. So the inspired action is created from becoming aware and making new decisions to move in a, in a different way to navigate things. So you can supercharge your results basically. It leads to living a more fulfilled life, a happier, much more content life. The accountability, I'll talk about that in a, in a, in a second, because the, the first four are really the most important. The being conscious, being able to self-coach yourself, being able to build that resilience and being able to take the inspired action. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about how we could continue working together. I have created something quite unique. And it doesn't matter what the issue is. It, this is designed to meet you where you are at. So Darcy from the Fab Skin Co. has just finished. 
And she said, Wendy is phenomenal. I realized there was so much resistance to me keeping myself stuck and playing small. The coaching toolbox does show you how to overcome and literally get out of your own way, step forward and shine brighter. Highly recommended. So that was, I got that on Google yesterday, which is lovely. The toolbox absolutely is 100% not for you if you want to continue on Groundhog Day. If you want to continue, keep getting the same results in, day in and day out, personally or professionally. You don't want to help other people to achieve and be better. You don't want to help them to get better results. You want to keep the status quo and not ruffle any feathers. This is definitely not for you. And you're happy to live in the past and settle for average. You're not motivated, committed, or even driven to make a positive impact in your life or others. And you don't believe that you can change things and create a more fulfilling life. Really, if you're not motivated and you've got lots of self-doubt and you just don't believe that this is going to work, it's not going to work. That That's the truth of it. It's really, really not for you. So I'd rather that you keep your um, money and spend it on something else because this is fast paced. It requires you to take part. It requires you to do the work to be able to get out of your own way. It's the only way it can be done. If there is no shortcut to this. This is a pretty good shortcut actually in itself, but that's another story. There are so many benefits. For me, the most important benefit for me is the emotional and mental health. But that is for me personally. For other people, it will be something different. But it will help in decision making, improve mental and emotional health, your progress much more quickly professionally. You become super resilient, which is really important right now. Better, healthier relationships. You're more connected to self. And it really helps you to dial up the color in your life. I did an article, a video it was a couple of weeks ago, on um, Conscious Coaching 32 Personal Benefits of Self-Coaching. And this is just from my perspective. I, it's, I haven't even spoke to my clients about the benefits of the toolbox, which I will be doing. So there are two opportunities that we can continue working together. And they are quite different to one another, even though the material is the same. So the first one is a five-week program and it is a combination of one-to-one -one video training on demand what will happen over those five weeks is we will have five high touch accountability check-ins so once a week i will be writing to you and i will be asking you how you're getting gone you'll fill in a job form where i ask specific questions so i can give you training coaching training and mentoring with inside the training hub to keep you on track and motivated. Plus you get a 15 minute orientation call, 24 seven support, and you also get the self-guided workbook. So you get me there in the background supporting you each step of the way. I'm there on call if you need me. Plus, you will have the high-level accountability weekly check-ins, and you will have a 15-minute navigation call so you can get focused and on track as quickly as possible. So the investment is going to be 297 At the moment, for the next three days, you can save £200, bringing it down to £97. That is going to increase Saturday. It will go up to the 297 now. 
The other way that we can continue working together is through the Conscious Collective. So this is going to be great for you if you love the company of other women to nurture, guide, support and mentor you on an incredible self-discovery journey. What we will do is we will start with a VIP one-on-one -on -one intensive. What we then do is we have six group calls, one a month, and we also combine that with, again, the high-touch personalized accountability check-ins. That is to keep you on track and motivated, plus you get the 27-hour, 28-7-hour, 24-7 support. So if you reach out, have any questions, not sure about something, you want to touch base with me, you can do that. Plus you get access to the online training hub as well, which has got videos, training on demand, the self-guided workbook, which has actually been split down into sections. So it's easy for you to navigate and understand. So the investment will be going up to 997. So you can save 400 pounds at the moment and you will be able to get it for 597. So that is a six month program where the main difference here is, is that it, obviously it's over a longer period of time, but you get, you get the one-on-one -on -one VIP immersion with me. You also get those six group calls. So that is different. The VIP immersion, the one-on-one -on -one VIP immersion is more for if you want to really go, in, go it alone, but have support. So I'm there for you. So even if you haven't filled in your feedback form to me, I'll be chasing you and saying, where's the feedback form? What are you working on? Where are you at? What can I help you with? What can I support you with? I invest in my clients the way they invest with me. I absolutely have their back 110%. So this evil one is not a case of you're going to buy it and then you're going to be left. It's not, it's not how I work. You can ask any of my clients. It is not how I work. But what we want to do is get you into a pattern. I was going to say ritual then, but it's the wrong word. Into a pattern so you're used to doing things in a, in a way to help you be able to get out of your way quicker. So... 100% satisfaction guaranteed, fully guaranteed for peace of mind, one-on-one -on -one VIP immersion, one-on-one -on -one orientation call, four weeks, 24-7 support, that should be five weeks, actually not four, um, four high-touch personalized accountability check-ins, free lifetime updates, guaranteed support, weekly accountability. So I've really thought about how you can get the best support while doing this without a high level of investment. So who does it work best for? Well, I specialize working with solopreneurs, leaders, women who are a little woo-woo and getting in their own way. And they've tried lots of things, but nothing seems to be working. And they, they just can't put their finger on the pulse of what it is, why it, they're just not getting whatever it is that it is that they want to get. So you're stuck and don't know why, or you think you know why, but nothing changes, you're wanting to increase your personal performance at work, you're just not happy and want to create a more meaningful and fulfilling life, you're struggling to grow the business the way you want, you're wanting a deeper, more meaningful relationship with self and others, you know, living with the after effects of trauma and with like guidance on how to navigate and move forward. So in a nutshell, the toolbox is designed to help you navigate and manage difficult and challenging situations and things that you're not aware of. How much time will you need to commit? Well, you know, that really is down to you. I love to commit time to this because this is, this is my baby. This is what I do. It's just completely changed my life. So you know, when you, when you get into a routine and your life changes to such a degree and you just feel so much fulfilled and happier, then you're going to want to keep doing it. But here's what I recommend. You spend 30 minutes doing your conscious coaching unique roadmap to success. 
Then you spend five to 10 minutes a day creating your reflective practice. Then once a week, you take out 30 minutes to go through the self-coaching ritual, which is going to help you clear. And then you, throughout the week, use the pattern interrupters throughout the day to manage any stinking thinking that's going to come up. Because it's going to come up. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely going to come up because that's how the brain works, unfortunately. <laughs> Client love. Okay. I have worked with lots of female entrepreneurs from all over the world and they've come to me for varying different reasons predominantly over the last couple of years that has been to do with growing businesses so they have often felt overwhelmed confused lost their mojo the business isn't growing as fast as they want it to they have a lot of fear they say, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. They get in their way an awful lot, which, of course, leads to stress, anxiety, and depression. And they find themselves in this position of survival rather than thriving in the business. And it's they're really just not enjoying it. So they also want to have a better relationship with self, have more confidence. I also work with a lot of women who have had previous, previous traumas and also a lot of women who are dyslexic. I feel that they're not good enough, blocked, but not sure why. This is my one, visibility hiding in plain sight, negative self-talk, experience discrimination, Issues with money, undercharging, over-delivering. I mean, the list is endless. I'm going to stop there because what I really want you to get a sense of is that how the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox works is it's going to highlight to you what it is that you need to focus in on first. And that's what it is that you need to trust the process and focus in on that one first so two options as i said one is for five weeks that is an investment of 97 pounds and that is pretty much a hands-off experience but you've still got me there for the support as i said i don't like anyone to go alone especially when it comes to the internal game and personal performance the second option is to join the conscious collective which is a six-month program where you have the vip one-to-one -one intensive you have those monthly group calls and you also have the monthly check-ins high touch accountability as well to keep you on track and motivated i'm absolutely there for you 110 percent